all, welcome back to Beanie's Hobbies and as promised, a follow-up video on this End 2 Pro. Now, I've been running this thing solidly now for well, three or four days, knocking off some prints. And this thing has just absolutely blown my mind with how good it prints. The quality of these prints has been actually amazing. Uh, this printer is also very good for miniatures. And I've always struggled to print miniatures on these printers. But I have printed a couple of miniatures to show you guys. Which we'll get to shortly. But first of all I'll just show you these test prints now. I haven't really done anything. I've done no cleaning. All I've done is obviously just removed the brim off some of them and left them, that's all I've done. So you can actually see what they have come out like. So let's just clear this build plate off. Okay, so at first, now this was actually on the SD card itself, and this is another handle. So if you don't like the sort of the handle that comes with the printer, you can then obviously just print yourself off this handle to replace the red handle that it comes with. So I think I actually prefer the handle that's already on there, but as you can see that this Actually, didn't come out too bad. Okay, then up next on the SD card, there were several files, but I didn't print many of them. I just printed a couple. We had this little wee rabbit. And also, this came out extremely well. Okay, and then we decided to print a Benchy. Now you can see we had a little tiny piece up here, we had some bit of stringing, nothing major, I mean, you know, you can just wipe it off with your finger. Um, apart from that, if I can get this close enough, there we go. You can actually see the quality of the print is really quite good. See the holes all nice and smooth. print quality of this machine is actually amazing. Um, also knocked off a bearing. Now sometimes printers will struggle to print these. I'll print them, but then they won't spin. But as you can see with this one, it will spin and turn and move just fine. It's a little bit tight because like a fool, I printed it with a brim. So a bit of the brim is still stuck here on the bottom, which is obviously hindering the movement. But if you didn't print it with a brim, it would be absolutely fine. I mean, I haven't done anything with the slicing program. I mean, I'm just using um, Cura, running it on the Ender 2 profile. I haven't tweaked it or anything at all. So with a little bit of tweaking, the print quality from this thing would be absolutely amazing. But I am so impressed with how this thing is printing. I mean, it was £120 over here in the UK, which for a 3D printer is actually quite cheap. Yes, I know you've not exactly got the biggest build plate, but for printing smaller things, it's absolutely ideal. Uh, we printed this bendy movable slug. <laughs> and he came out absolutely fine. All the joints move, bends, twists, turns. An actual really good quality print. Okay, and then I went and printed this vase type bowl, fruit bowl type thing. Uh, this suffered from a little tiny piece bit of stringing here and there. Um, I don't even know if I get you might be able to see it. You just see some bit of stringing down here, but you know, hold a lighter, something like that, or just run your fingers over it, it'll come straight off. And as you can see, the quality of this print is absolutely fantastic. No print issues at all whatsoever, apart from just a little tiny bit of stringing, but. Like I say, if you adjust the print settings slightly, I don't think you find, I think you find that stringing would just go, just need to slightly alter the retraction settings. And then you would have some fantastic prints. Okay, then I moved on to something a little bit smaller. And this is quite diddy. And as you can see, this came out exceptionally well. Yeah, again, a little tiny, tiny bit of stringing. But the print quality is actually very, very good. Can't fault it. 
any way, shape or form. Please don't comment on my nails, I know they're not very nice, but working man's hands I'm afraid. YouTube isn't my full time job, I do have to work as well. Don't always have time to go for the manicures. <laughs> and last up, we printed a little tiny, tiny diddy Mandalorian. Now, as you can see, he is very, very diddy. And he also came out exceptional, even down to yes, there's a little tiny, tiny bit of stringing in there. And you can see, even the end of his rifle came out well. Now I actually printed this support free, so considering it was support free, it actually came out for a miniature incredibly well. Now you can spend you know, a few minutes just tidying up the edges, slap a coat of paint over this thing, and away you go. So guys, that is all the prints that I've done now. Like I say, I've had no issues with this printer at all whatsoever. It has worked absolutely perfectly. <laughs> Only one thing, one that's not really an issue as such, um, only one thing I've had to do with this printer, which I shall show you around here. Let me just turn this around and then upside down if I can. Now underneath, let's see if we can get it in shot, here we go. Now this piece under here, this is what normally holds this cable. Cable will be held in this bracket with a zip tie. Okay, but what happens is this cable is actually sitting slightly proud of this back foot and so it causes the printer to rock. So basically just get yourself your side cutters, nip off the cable tie, move that cable out of that bracket, uh, problem solved. And that is the only issue I had because this thing was wobbling a lot, but now it's stable. So that is the only issue that I have had with this printer. Apart from that, it's been absolutely perfect and it has been, uh, it's been an absolute joy to use. Um, so remember guys, if you want 10% off this printer, 10% uh, off the Creality Ender 3 S1 or the Creality CR10 Pro Smart, then head over to Technology Outlet. The link will be down in the description below. Use my discount code BEANIE10 and you can then get 10% off any of those three printers. Um, I highly recommend this printer for the sake of, I think it was 100, I'm sure it's 120, 129 pounds. Obviously you'll get 10% off that as well, but I can't fault this thing in any way, shape or form for a budget printer. Yes, you haven't got the biggest build plate in the world, but if you want to print miniatures, then this printer is absolutely ideal. I mean, this vase is not miniature. Look, I could have printed it bigger, but you know, I just wanted to rattle out several prints for you guys to have a look at. So you could see the quality that this thing is chucking out, considering you know how cheap it is. It's an absolute bargain. You're getting good quality prints, and you know if you want to print some miniatures, if you're into that sort of thing, you haven't got to deal with stinky old resin. Yes, you're not going to get the finest of detailing like you would with a resin printer, but I mean, the detailing on this guy, come on, that's not that bad, guys. So, yeah, give the Creality Ender 2 Pro a look. I don't think you'd be disappointed. Gets a big thumbs up from over here at Beanie's Hobbies. Uh, that's it for me for now for waffling on. Uh, drop me a like if you want to. Subscribe if you want to. Don't forget to use the link down below, guys, for 10% off over on Technology Outlet. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheerio!